dear viewers welcome back now in this video we will see how to get the solution for projections of straight line problems in seconds yes it is not a joke i am not kidding it's real here we are going to see how to solve any projections of straight line problems in seconds for that i already created and opened a drawing file in solidworks this is the drawing file for the projections of straight line problem created already by me now using this let us solve at least uh, somewhere between 5 to 8 problems in this session now okay so for that i already typed in some problems uh, we will see the first problem okay now the the real uh, count started now okay now i read the problem a line 60 mm long 10 above 20 in front theta 30 pi 45 in that i'm going to in, in this drawing file i'm going to enter these values okay now line length is 60 so line length 60 1 and 10 above 20 in front 10 above 20 in front theta 30 pi 45 theta 30 pi 45 so now we got the solution actually we got the solution probably i would have taken 15-20 uh, seconds that's it so this is the solution for the first problem okay now let us see the second problem for that i will be deleting all the details okay so only the one end position will be i am retaining it now let us go to the next problem one end p of a line pq 80 mm long the line length is 80 okay now length of the line is 80 80 entered uh, 10 above in vp so 10 above in vp in vp means it should be 0 but instead of 0 what i do is i just put point 0.1 point 0.1 is uh, almost equal to 0 okay because if i give 0 that may end up with a uh, uh, division by 0 problem anything divided by 0 will become infinity so this i put point 0.1 Point one is as equivalent as zero. Then the line is inclined at 60 theta 60 pi 30. So this pi is 30, and this theta is 60. Now we got the solution. So this is the answer. So this is the answer for problem number two. Okay. Again probably I would have taken the same 15-20 seconds so this is the solution ok now for the third problem I will be deleting these values ok let me delete all the values Shall we go to the third problem? Okay. Now let us go to the third problem. Third problem says one end of a line 70 mm long. That is line length is 70 mm long. Okay. So this is 70. Uh, 10 above 20 in front. 10 above 20 in front. Uh, the other end. 40 above 65 in front. The other end 45 above. This is the other end. This is the other end. So which is 45 above and 65 in front. 65 in front. Now this is the solution actually. We got the solution. Okay. 
but here you have to find out the theta and pi so let us see that let me check what is theta and what is pi so problem is solved over and above the problem draw the position and find the true values true inclinations we solve the problem and we found the true values also true values true angles theta is 30 and pi is 40 so i solve third problem for the fourth problem let me delete uh, this data so that uh, i can solve the next problem okay now we move on to the next problem the next problem is the fourth one uh, one end of a line 60 mm long the line length is 60 okay let me put 60 here then uh, in HP 20 in front of EP so in HP means this not 10 above HP 0 so I should not put 0 I put point 0.1 point 0.1 is as equivalent as in 0 20 in front so already 20 in front ok fine the line it is inclined at 30 degrees to HP 35 degrees to HP so uh, 35 degrees 35 degrees to HP and the front view measures 40 so this is the this red line is a front view that is 40 so this is 40 solution sub time this is the solution for this problem apart from the solution we have to find the true inclination with VP you see that also true inclination with VP is this one for this the pi is 48.19 degree ok now I solve fourth problem also for the fifth one let me delete all okay, let me put some value after that uh, if that is not required I will delete it afterwards. now we move on to the fifth problem so fifth problem is one and a half line pq 80 mm long so length of the line is 80 mm length of the line is 80 uh, long 10 above 15 in front 10 above 15 in front uh, the line is inclined at 40 degrees to HP theta is 40 so theta is 40 and top view makes uh, 50 degrees so this angle is 50 degrees top view angle is 50 degrees so now this is the solution we solve the problem now ok apart from that you have to find out the true inclination of VP true inclination with VP so this is the true inclination with VP pi pi is 35.9 that is 36 so this is the solution for the fifth problem okay now let's see about uh, sixth problem for that i i want to delete all this okay now let us move on to the sixth problem the sixth problem is line ab 80 mm long so the length of the line is 80 mm uh, let me delete this also 80 mm long Uh, one end 10 above 20 in front 10 above 20 10 above 20 in front uh, the elevation front view length is 60 top view length is 70 front view length is 60 top view length is 70 this is the top view top view length is 70 and we solve the problem this is the solution for this for that apart from getting the solution you have to find out the two angles theta and pi two inclinations ok let us see that also theta is this one 29 degrees pi 41.4 degrees so this is the solution for the 
sixth problem. Okay. To move on to the seventh problem, I have to delete all this. Okay. Now we will see about the seventh problem now. Seventh problem is one and a half line pi above 15 infrared. Pi above 15 infrared. Here the true length of the line is not given. Pi above 15 infrared. The front view elevation and plan top view measures 50, 65 respectively. So front view 50, top view 65 respectively. So 50, 65. The elevation is inclined at 50 degrees. That is front view is inclined at 50 degrees. So this is the solution for that. Okay, this is the solution for that. After finding out the solution, you have to find out the true length, true angles, theta and pi. We will see that also. Now the, for this problem, the true length is 75.45 degrees, theta is 30.5 degrees, pi is 48.5 degrees. So this is the solution for problem number 7. Okay. Maybe finally we will solve one more problem for this in this video. The eighth problem. With that uh, I'll I'll wind up this video. Now uh, or maybe the ninth problem we'll see. It's a distance between and projected problem. One end 10 above 20 imprint, other end 45 above 60 imprint. The distance between and projector is 41. Okay, so one end 10 above 20 in front. 10 above 20 in front. The other end 45 above 65 in front. 45 above 45 above 65 in front. In front, the distance between end projector is 40. So, this is one end projector, this is another end projector. So, the distance between these two is 40 mm. 40 mm. Now, this is a problem, this is the solution for that problem. Okay, now apart from this, you have to find you have to find out and show the true values, true length. True length is 69 or 70 mm. Theta. 30 degrees, pi 40 degrees. So this is the solution for the problem eighth problem actually. So like this, using the SolidWorks drawing or uh, drawing file by drawing a drawing file in any of the parametric modeling softwares other than SolidWorks also, you can not only solve the problems. Uh, after that, you can change the values and you can find the solution for the different set of problems under the projection of site line. So, so uh, I saw in this video, I solved eight uh, problems uh, in quick succession. Thank you for viewing.